సెవెన్ సిక్స్ ఫైవ్ ఫోర్ త్రీ టూ వన్ జీరో ప్లస్ వన్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఏజ్ ఇక్నైటెడ్ ప్లస్ త్రీ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ సిక్స్ ప్లస్ సెవెన్ ప్లస్ ఎయిట్ ఫస్ట్ ఏజ్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ఫోర్ సాలిడ్ స్టాప్స్ హాస్ బీన్ ఇక్నైటెడ్ ది లిఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇస్ నార్మల్ confirmation that the ground lift strap ons both strap ons have been successfully separated at 70 seconds the vehicle is at an altitude of around nominally at 32.3 kilometers 85 seconds into the flight p2 tracking scpt1 plus 1 minute 30 seconds at 92 seconds we should hear yes air lift strap on has been separated at 92 seconds first stage performance normal altitude is 44 kilometers and the vehicle has moved from the launch base at a distance of almost 65 kilometers the vehicle velocity as expected during the first stage of flight nearing the first stage separation is around 2 km per second the next event is at 110 ps1 stay separated and ps2 engine started so we just heard the announcement first the first stage has been successfully separated 111 seconds and the second stage ignition has been initiated immediately after the separation of the first stage and the vehicle has also entered into the closed loop guidance algorithm second stage performance normal so perform second stage performance has been indicated as normal if you look at the burn time of the second stage burn for almost 145 to 150 seconds and uh, as per the nominal flight sequence we can expect the separation of the second stage to happen at 262 seconds when the vehicle is at an altitude of around 134 kilometers with a velocity of almost 5.3 km per second which basically means the first two stages of the rocket would deliver almost 50% of the velocity which is required for the satellite to reach its designated orbit so 174 seconds into the flight altitude is 102 km during the second stage of flight we have one other important event called as the separation of the payload fairing or the heat shield which primarily protects the spacecraft during the atmospheric phase and during the the intense uh, radiation that happens during the atmospheric phase and once we are out of the atmosphere around 110 kilometers plus heat the heat shield is separated so that we don't carry any dead weight beyond this particular event so we just heard the announcement heat shield has been successfully separated at 198 seconds जहां तक लॉन्च के टाइम का सवाल है इस वक्त 213 सौ तेरह सेकेंड हम सेकेंड स्टेज के फ्लाइट में और 30 सेकेंड का टाइम बाकी और व्हीकल की ऊंचाई इस वक्त ऑलमोस्ट एक सौ तेईस किलोमीटर एंड इफ यू लुक एट द वेलासिटी ऑलमोस्ट फोर किलोमीटर वेलासिटी एज बिन एडेड द नॉमिनल टाइम एट विच द पी एस टू शुड सेपरेट इज टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी टू सेकेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड फ्रॉम नाउ एंड PSL performance has been Problem normal if you look at the the plots that were shown on your screen is the plot of the altitude and the velocity the flight that is going through the phase right now is exactly following the pre flight predictions so any time from now we should hear the announcement yes vs2 has PS2 been separated, separated at 262 PS3 seconds and the third stage also has been ignited a very close match with the pre-flight predictions so 275 seconds into the flight altitude 135 kilometers and the vehicle has moved almost 650 kilometers from this area but as you can see on your the screen all the flight events 
chair minister Vikram Kumar plus 5 minutes 5 minutes into the flight 300 seconds a view of the altitude and the velocity profiling what you are seeing on your screen the bottom curve is the altitude profile the red curve indicates the pre flight predictions and the one the green shown is the the flight to measure telemetry data so very close match with the altitude time versus altitude and time versus velocity as per the nominal flight sequence the third stage should burn out at 386 seconds third stage performance normal and after the burn out we almost have a post burn out event of almost 200 seconds plus before the the third stage gets separated and the ignition of the fourth stage happens so we are up to 345 seconds into the flight with an altitude of 138 kilometers the velocity is 6.52 all looking nominal plus 6 minutes so if you look at the the velocity addition that happens during the entire phase of flight as was mentioning during the first stage of flight we have almost 2 or 25% of the velocity addition that has been provided to the vehicle during the second stage flight we have at the end of second stage flight almost 56% of the total velocity has been imparted to the vehicle now the third stage which ignites is 264 seconds after lift off this happens one stage one second after the rbc separation at the time the third stage separates the vehicle is at an altitude of 186 kilometers and the velocity of psc separation is almost 7.7 km per second now this mission being a uh, 260 284 by 20650 almost sub gt orbit the velocity that the vehicle has to impart to the satellite is of the order of 9.6 km per second so we have almost a 7.34 km per second velocity already imparted to the rocket uh, 417 18 seconds into the flight probably at pc uh, for now and then pc separation should happen at 605 seconds so after the burn out of the third stage there is a coasting time of uh, as i was mentioning nearly 230 seconds before the fourth stage is ignited this is primarily decided by the mission requirements to optimally meet the target condition performance during combined coasting is normal and uh, ps3 has burnt out and uh, the vehicle is going through the combined coasting which is the ps3 and ps4 stage together before it is separated so coasting is uh, basically the phase where the rocket motors are kept in off condition and uh, is waqt samay 470 seconds aur vehicle ki uchai is waqt 160 km and uh, vehicle velocity is 7 the final velocity that the satellite has to this is around 9.6 km per second as was mentioning during the coasting phase of flight the rocket motors are in off condition at the end of the coast period the post stage gets ignited at 616 seconds and burns nominal for almost uh, 510 seconds so nominal burn time of post stage is 510 seconds in which is going to take the satellite to the required elliptical orbit of 284 by 20650 km where the velocity will be around 9.6 So once the target conditions are met, iron and satellite will get separated after nearly 37 seconds. So right now the time is 516 seconds with 7.3 km velocity. And uh, as you can see during the coasting phase, uh, there is a steep rise in the altitude. Even though the perigee is uh, around 284, the final injection altitude is to the extent of almost 450 km so there is a continuous rise in altitude during the third and fourth stage when the coasting is going on performance during combined coasting is normal so just heard the announcement the performance during the combined coasting is uh, nominal so we should expect the ps3 separation to happen in the next uh, 50 seconds from now followed by which we will have the ignition of the four stage 10 seconds after the third stage has been separated so we are at 567 seconds as you can see because the rocket stage is uh, completely off during this phase of flight uh, what you will see is there is a drop in the velocity because the vehicle is continuously climbing and the altitude once the altitude increases the velocity is going to drop down because there is no finite velocity addition that is taking off with the rocket motors are in the off condition 
So once the PS3 stage is separated and uh, PS3, PS4 stage gets ignited, you will see the as the altitude is increasing, there will be increasing the velocity addition. So we expect something like 2.2 kilometer velocity to be imparted by the, by the PS4 stage. So we just heard the announcement. PS3 has been separated as planned at 605 seconds. Maybe in the next 5 to 10 seconds we should hear. Yes. PS4, PS4 engine also has been successfully ignited at 616 seconds. So we have view of the Mission Control Center, the VVIP gallery. He's waiting for the yes, fourth stage has been performing nominally. So during this phase of flight, which is a duration of almost 500 seconds, the vehicle uh, from the present altitude of 194 kilometers should reach something like 450 kilometers. And the velocity from the present 7.4 kilometer should take the satellite to a velocity of around 9.6. As you can see on your screen now, the velocity is slowly started to increase because the rocket motor has been ignited. Six seventy eight seconds, almost 200 kilometer altitude. As for the nominal timing that we have with us, the PS4 cutoff should happen at 1,122 seconds when the vehicle is at an altitude of 450 kilometers and 37 seconds later after the cutoff of the fourth stage, the separation of INSS 1E satellite will be executed which is, which would be at 1,159 seconds when the vehicle is at an altitude of almost 502 kilometers. So right now we are 712 seconds into the flight and uh, the satellite with the upper stages almost reach a distance of 3600 kilometers which is called as the downrange in order to reduce 208 kilometers just a quick uh, details on the irns 1e satellite irns 1e satellite uh, had a liftoff mass of around 1425 kilograms and this configuration of INS 1E is similar to that of INS 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D. The two solar arrays of INS 1E, consisting of uh, ultra triple junction solar cells, generate almost 1660 watts of electrical power. And with regard to the attitude or orbit control system, also called as the AOCS of INS 1E, maintains satellite orientation with the help of uh, reaction wheels, magnetic torques, and uh, thrusters. <coughs> So four stage performance is normal. And with regard to the propulsion system of INS 1E, it has a liquid apogee motor, which is primarily used for raising the altitude from its present altitude of uh, from the initial orbit of 284 by 20,000 into the final designated orbit of 36,000 kilometer. And there are also thrusters for maintaining the attitude control. So after injection into the intermediate transfer orbit, these two solar panels of INS 1E will automatically get deployed in quick succession. And the master control facility, MCF, at Hassan will take control of the satellite and perform the initial orbit racing maneuvers consisting of one maneuver at perigee. So the maneuver strategy from the present position of 284 by 20,650 kilometer will take the satellite to a final orbit of 36,000. So there will be a, a maneuver performed at the perigee, which is the nearest point of Earth. And there will be three maneuvers that will perform the topology for placing the satellite in the final designated orbit. And in terms of the the location at which the satellite will be positioned, it will be at a 111.75 degrees location. And the initial inclination of the orbit will be to the extent of 28 degrees with respect to the equator. So 840 seconds. Velocity is around 8 kilometers. PS4 performance is absolutely nominal altitude 240 kilometers. Another 1.6 kilometer per second velocity has to be imparted. So we have 860, so something like 250 seconds more to go into